All right, what's up, YouTube? For the for the recording, Shiz and Jan back with uh, react to what I'm guessing is gonna be the launch trailer for Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Um, so I'm assuming maybe another like two to three minute video. Uh, we did just yeah. have uh, that five minute video for Gimme Ghoul, uh, which definitely didn't need to be a five minute video, but we didn't react to that. It is what it is. That Pokemon ended up getting leaked by Pokemon Go. Yada yada yada. Uh, so in terms of predictions for uh, this trailer, I'm thinking, I'm thinking if it is a launch trailer, we're gonna see the uh, the Evos. If if not the second stage, like if if we're gonna see more than the second stage Evos, and we don't see the final Evos, it'll be like the Evo animation into a silhouette. Like they won't actually commit all the way. Um, I don't know, but. The game has officially fucking leaked. Uh, we've, I've, I've been looking at all the leaks, so I know what Foy Coco's second stage looked like. So that's why I'm assuming they might show off more. What the fuck are you doing? I'm shaking my protein shake. I'll okay. do it on screen. Jesus Christ. Also, I uh, couldn't hear you for a little bit, but now I'm back. I apologize. Okay. Uh, also, so shout you, out you've Magic seen Coco. That's right. So you've seen, you've seen Foy Coco second of all form. Yeah, I've, I've seen say? it. Uh, weird. Uh, <laughs> we're we're a little guy. Hold on, let's see. All right, it's nine no, o'clock yet. Unless it's in the. Uh... There was that other video that was live. Which video? What the fuck, it's not this, right? Um, I don't know. There was something that was on here. Uh, let's see. No, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't want to watch the UK version. Oh, uh, this is the official one. Well, I guess that gives us more time to... Oh, this is it. Okay, it's here. It's a... One view. <laughs> here we it's go. 27 video. seconds ago. I guess does it matter if we're watching the UK version? Who cares? Here we go. Pause the music. Shut the fuck up. Scarlet and Violet. Violet and Scarlet. Just, just a reminder that... Uh... Violet and Scarlet. What the fuck? Oh, this is that Ed Sheeran shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alright. Well, well, there goes the copyright strike that I tried so hard to avoid for this video. Well, do we need the audio for them? Ah, uh, I mean... It is what it is. Whatever. I feel like we're gonna see the Evos. Yes, we do. I think so too. Also, side plot: Is this Ed Sheeran's peak? Like he made it to a Pokemon trailer? I feel like it kind of is. Celestials, but it's terrestrializing. Wait, they showed his. <laughs> they showed the Pokemon dying. <laughs> Thanks, Ed Sheeran. You you killed Quaxley. Nice. Oh my God! Bro, I read it's... her text in Ibuki's voice. Oh. Uh. Okay, so nothing new yet. No. They oh, have to show the selfie mode. Okay. They have a selfie mode. What the hell is that? Was that Fido or was that Fido's Evo? What the fuck is that? That's Cloth. See, I'm not very familiar with a lot of these Pokemon. Oh, okay. Okay, Grafai, I okay. Giraffeurig becoming uh, Farafferig, whatever the fuck. Is that a thing? Yeah. That's cool. That okay. looks crazy. That Giraffeurig looks nuts. I love it. Not a fan of this music? Oh, you don't love. Look, she loves it. She was singing the fuck out of yeah, it. Yeah, she, she was screaming. This is uh, his worst music video. <laughs> okay, so treasure is like the common theme amongst what everyone is saying there. That's cool. Oh, okay, yeah! I guess. Finally! What is that? Donphan? Finally! They showed the Paradox uh, Pokemon. Finally, fuck. That was the Paradox Pokemon? So, and yeah. 
Fuck, man, I've been... <laughs> Oh, Scissor. Okay. They did that for me because, you know, Pokemon Unite. Yeah. Oh, that's the Dragon Crown? Okay, I kind of like the Dragon Crown. Yeah, that looks clean. Oh, that was a sick pose. I'm, I'm <laughs> that was crazy. So I'll explain what Paradox Pokemon are after, uh... Wow. So I was completely okay. wrong about... Oh man, we gotta wait till the 18th month. That's crazy. <laughs> um... Alright, so let's put this on loop and mute it. Oh, there's a little bit of something. Is there a little bit of something? Players who play past Pokemon games can get rotten phone cases. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um, I think I would get beat up at work if I had a rotten phone case. Oh, in real life? All right, in real put, life. Let me put the copyright free music. Uh, but, um, so we didn't get, <laughs> we did not get starter Pokemon, Evos. So maybe there is one more trailer. Maybe this is technically not the launch trailer. Usually the launch trailers kind of come up like a week or so before, but maybe we'll get one next Wednesday. Um, maybe. So, Paradox Pokemon. So, obviously, Koraiden and Maraiden, past and future. Uh, mm -hmm. Both those words, the Kor Korai and Marai, are like past and future, whichever. I think Koraiden is the red one, so that, that would be past and then Correct. Marai is future. So yeah, the motorcycle one. Yeah, Paradox Pokemon are different versions of Pokemon that we're familiar with. So this would be, I assume, uh, a past version of Dolphan. So yeah, Dolphan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. he's. I got, mean, the yeah, eyes look exactly the same. He's got these super tusks, and then you got yeah. a futuristic Dolphan. So, oh yeah, it almost yeah, it, it look, looks like a tar in the face. I didn't even notice the face. So I'm okay, assuming that's, awesome. that's not his face. I'm assuming because that's like his snout. Because like if you look at the sketch for it, oh, it is his face. Never mind, never mind. I thought okay, yeah. so yeah, so okay, so that's a futuristic Don fan. Um, yeah, well, I like the woolly mammoth version. That I, the I do like that version. One more, yeah. That one looks awesome. Yeah, I that one's really cool. Like I do like uh, Maraiden, uh, mm -hmm. but honestly, Karaiden is so fucking cool. See, I think maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm gonna like the uh, the past Pokemon way more than the future Pokemon. Um, but yeah, that's give me goal. So so that you know you don't have to watch the full. We're not. I'm not gonna show you the full five minute trailer. But yeah, that is give okay. me goal. Uh, you have to collect one thousand coins. To make it evolve, uh, I don't know if it's collecting a thousand gimme ghouls, kind of like the Zygarde cells, but like on crack. Uh, but there is a Pokemon Go version of gimme ghoul. So in 2023, when I assume you can link home, you'll also be able to link uh, Pokemon Go to mm. Scarlet Violet. And uh, you'll get. In the game, you'll get chess version of Gimme Ghoul, but if you link Pokemon Go, you get roaming version, which means it's just a ver version of Gimme Ghoul that walks around outside of the chess. Um, okay. Do you know about Wiglet? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we saw an evolved form of, of, uh, Fido. We did? Hold on. Uh, no, it kind of looked like it had extra. Yeah, they're being very careful this with this trailer then. Yeah, they really are. I right, wonder why. Right? It's, not, it's not the, out. I just, I guess I didn't realize how much different stuff was on Fi uh, Fido. Yeah, I guess. Cause like, I didn't know he had like these croissant curls on his back. Um, I also could never tell if this is actually uh, Palmy or an Evo of Palmy. I can never tell. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, not really that much 
shown other than the Don fan thing. Yeah. Um, still cool. Now we don't know how many. We don't know how many Paradox Pokemon we're getting, right? I mean, officially, we don't know. <laughs> Uh, How many have we seen so far? Because again, I'm very out of the loop. Aside from, I mean, if you technically want to count Karida and Maraidon, just them. But if you're not counting them, okay. these are the. Uh, this is the first scene. Is uh, Don fan? Um, okay. So yeah, I. Uh, why are paradox a thing now? So, we'll probably figure out more as we play. The game, well, uh, not probably. We'll, we'll definitely figure out more as we play the game, but uh, I believe time has a lot to do with uh, the story in this game. Um, there are some things that like I, I want to talk about, but I feel like it would accidentally be a spoiler, so I'm, I'm gonna avoid talking about it. But I think it goes beyond what we uh, what we're expecting in the first go. But definitely, past and future are a big part of this game. Um, and okay. The emphasis on this friggin' crater. I think I've talked about this before, and it, it's not like an original thought or anything like that, but uh, in Pokemon Black and White, the ultimate weapon, they 3,000 years ago, they shot it into space, and it came back down, and it crashed somewhere else. It didn't crash in mm -hmm. Kalos, it crashed somewhere near Kalos, though. A lot of people are assuming Spain and... Uh, oh my god. Where the fuck Kalos take place? <laughs> well, I have no idea. Well, whatever. It's close enough. Um... So, the edge of Paldea, Port... Okay, yeah. So, they're close enough uh, that... Uh, oh, France? France, yes. Yeah, it's Portugal and France. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sorry. Um, no problem. The two places are close, obviously, in our reality, uh, but the edge of the map of uh, Paldea kind of looks like it would be the edge of... Kalos. Um, so the speculation is that this giant crater is the place that that ultimate weapon landed 3,000 years ago. Um, mm. And that's why it has all these, the terrestrialized stuff, because it went to space and came back. And I believe that the theory is also that Deoxys was created from the ultimate weapon going through space or something like that, because this energy touched the comet, mm. and then that's yes, when... Yeah, I think so. So like, there's all yes. like these different things connected, and I know me and Prof Cab have been going crazy the last couple days, just talking about like all these different ideas that Pokemon has so much potential, and if they're not executing on it, I don't really know what to say. Like, we came up with the most beautiful uh, Pokemon Unite map for a Pokemon Legends Arceus, where the mm -hmm. center stage is a time space rift, and it would either be Palkia and Dialga, uh, the Reggies or, you know, Rodham's, whatever, would be Alpha Pokemon. But the the cool part about having a Time Rift in the center is that it would have a Fog of War thing going on. So if you're outside the Time Rift, you can't see what's going on in the middle, which could make very interesting kind of like ambush plays and stuff like that. Oh, I like that. But they're not doing it, so <laughs> whatever, you know, we just came up with a whole map idea in like five minutes. But anyway, yeah, all that is to say... Uh, I have a lot of high expectations of where this game could go. Obviously, the music, uh, as long as it's not Ed Sheeran, will be better. <laughs> I want to watch Rise of Dark right now. You know what? Outside of, like, uh, uh, Detective Pikachu, I don't think I've watched a Pokemon movie since the Latios Latias movie. I don't think I've watched a movie since then. <laughs> Like in theater, yeah, me neither. I remember watching that movie. Um, but yeah, I, I talked a whole lot. How do you feel, bro? My bad. No. What's up, Zach? That's you good. Should have gotten Veet to make the OST. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeet, not Veet. Um, no, I mean, I like the whole I, the whole concept of again. So, for those of you that that don't know, I am much more out of the loop intentionally than Tony because I really wanted to go in and have like a true organic experience and be surprised. I just don't trust game trailers. Nowadays, I feel like game trailers and movie trailers, they just spoil way too much. So, like, I wasn't too familiar with, like, Paradox Pokemon even, like, really being a thing. So for us to see, like, like Don Fan, the builds were awesome. Like Tony said, I'm not a huge fan of the futuristic version, but, I mean, at least it's something, I'm sure there will be futuristic versions that 
we will both like. Um, I'm also pretty shocked that we don't have more info on the starters. Yeah. Because we're 10 days out and we have nothing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really have any other thoughts. I feel like a lot of my thoughts are going to be like much more generalized thoughts that people have probably had for a while. Like, there's a lot of stuff like graphically, this game looks really cool. Like, the moves look really cool. Mm. The Pokeball animations are really cool. Like, the, 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 it's all, all the little things for me that I really like. Um, no, not even no final evolutions. I think only, apparently, only Fue Coco's second tier evolution has been revealed so far, well, right? Not le like, it leaked. It hasn't been it leaked. Oh, so, yeah, because well, somebody go. was, uh, so somebody went live with the game on Twitch, and that shit got shut down in 30 seconds. So people only saw the uh, the intros uh, cutscene. But uh, someone else was posting pictures of Fue Coco's uh, Evo, second stage Evo, uh, along with a couple other Pokemon that haven't been shown yet, and some other Pokemon with their Evos. So like, for example, the small of Evo has been uh, shown. Um, I, so far with the designs of what I've seen just officially, uh, cause I haven't seen a lot of, like not that much has leaked outside of, um, what we've officially seen. I really like the, uh, direction that they're going with in terms of a lot of these, uh, designs. I think they're, they're pretty fun. Um, yeah, no, me too. Me too. I completely agree. Yeah. And the, uh, I forgot the name of that Pokemon right there, but the, the crown on the, Oh, oh, on the dragon, yeah. Pokemon's great. Dragon up? Yeah. yeah. Like that whole animation right there with the crystal Pokeball, that looks nuts. Mm. So, yeah, and I am very intrigued by this story. I do want to see what direction they go in. Because, like, the whole the whole crater subplot seems pretty interesting as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'm pumped. I'm really looking forward to it. I can't believe we're only 10 days away. Or, That's it. Accor according to this, we're, what? <laughs> 10 months away? <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, seven months. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seven yeah. months and three days. Yeah. yeah, in case you guys thought it was coming out November 11th, it's actually coming out June 11th of 2023. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, God. Well, I guess that's. Yeah, no, I'm pumped. All right, so there you go. It's been uh, an official Broad Sydney React. A Broad Sydney React. <laughs> <laughs> Broad Sydney React. All right. Thank you. Peace, YouTube.